This is a time of generational change right across Ireland. We face into one of the most important periods in the history of Irish politics. We're on our marks for a general election that could happen at any time for local, European and Udras Nagayotakta elections in June and for a Westminster election that will follow shortly afterwards. And these elections present us with an unprecedented opportunity to transform Ireland for the better, to advance Republican politics that puts workers, families and communities first, to expand the exciting conversation about uniting our country. And I'm very pleased that Antishak has finally acknowledged that we are in fact on the road to reunification and so I call on him again to begin now the planning and the preparations for democratic and peaceful constitutional change by urgently establishing a citizens assembly on Irish unity. I believe that this is the generation that will end partition bring all of our people together in common purpose and finish the journey to full nationhood. Next Wednesday, the Dáil returns at a time when people are crying out for real change. The public appetite for fresh politics and for an energetic, modern leadership is growing every single day. The elections in the North over the last two years show what's possible. They show that people are ready now for a new direction, a new way forward. Sinn Féin is the largest party in the Assembly and in local government. And Michelle O'Neill has been elected as First Minister designate in a state that was designed, remember, to ensure that that could never, ever happen. And now Michelle stands ready to lead an executive for all. It's time for the DUP to accept the result of the elections, to end its boycott of the institutions and to get back around the executive table to deliver good government for everybody. So my message to the DUP is clear. The game playing now needs to stop and common sense must prevail. Our people, North and South, want a new era in which government makes politics work for everyone to seize with ambition the immense opportunities for Ireland over the next decade. In the South, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil stand against that tide of positive progressive change sweeping across Ireland. They have shown that they are not up to the task of improving the everyday lives of ordinary people, not up to the job of building a better future. And there is one certainty. The longer Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil are in government, the worse things will get. They're out of touch, out of ideas, and increasingly out of time. Just look at the crisis in health, in housing, and the cost of living. Our people are tired of waiting, tired of the recycled excuses from parties in government. They want real progress in their lives today and a clear path for a better tomorrow. And that is why we need a general election. I believe we're now on the countdown to the day when the people will have their say. And when the people do make that de democratic decision, we will talk to everyone and we put Sinn Féin's policies for a better future firmly on the table. In my opinion, the very best outcome of that election is a new government without Fianna Fáil or Fine Gael for the first time in a hundred years. And I hope that people back that vision. However, friends, we're not presumptuous. The outcome of the next general election is far from decided and we know that we have a lot of hard work to do between now and then. Because we want to deliver a government for change, a government with real solutions, serious about tackling the challenges that our people face. And at the centre of this change is housing. The housing crisis has now defined life in Ireland for more than a decade. On the watch of Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil, house prices have gone through the roof and rents have soared to record highs. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael's failures in housing are now impacting on the ability of employers to hire workers, schools to hire teachers 
and hospitals to hire doctors and nurses, as well as driving another generation to leave Ireland or to continue to live at home with their parents, many right into their 30s. So they see a government unable to grasp the gravity of the crisis after more than three years in office. And as they approach their four, fourth budget, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael have proven that they don't have the answers. It's clear that housing will be the defining issue of the coming election. Sinn Féin in government will end the housing crisis. A Sinn Féin led government will build the homes that our people need. Friends, we will deliver the biggest affordable and social housing programme that this state has ever seen. That is the level of action needed to match the scale of the challenge we face. And if the people give us the opportunity to lead, Sinn Féin will make housing the number one priority of a new government. Not only in words, but in actions. Not only in actions, but in results. That is our pledge to the people who have suffered too much and too long under this failed government. Give us the chance to end this housing crisis and judge us on how we perform. We have the determination to get the job done. We have the vision to make change real in the lives of workers and families. And that means delivering an ambitious, modern government that will introduce comprehensive action on the cost of living crisis, bring forward a plan to make neighbourhoods safe by cracking down on crime, by investing in Angarda Siakona, investing in our young people and investing in our communities, and implementing an effective strategy in response to the climate emergency. And I've heard very clearly the appeals of people urging us in Sinn Féin to be ready for the next election, urging us to have the number of candidates needed. So to them I say, make no mistake, Sinn Féin will be ready. We are now on an election footing. And our focus will be on maximising our vote and electing enough Sinn Féin TDs to lead government. A truly new government, enthusiastic about meeting the ambitions of our people and delivering real change. Comwidge er an gorav anish igor ul tauhan is tauakti the Tamil father. Ta shin fein re leve igyanus. Ta shin ta realtus ig tastol uan er son an akraha. Realtus a kurhi dera leshengere came tihiakta. Denimij kin shigamek an tihiakta fries re sunta. Treed or glor tihiakta is mo awaka an stot sho reev. Comwidge anish. Er von Tauchoniopta, August Tomage, Dirahe, Er and Nohon, Chakta Dola, the Quidshin Fena Huffa, Conrealtus Nua, a curry vine, August on Afruatho, Tastol, a Gwinshir Naheran, a Horch Dove. Friends, as more and more people put their trust in faith in Sinn Fein, their expectations of us will grow, and rightly so. The task before us is historic. Our job is to change Ireland for the better. To change Ireland for workers and families too often pushed to the back of the queue. And now is the time for a government for the people and Sinn Féin is the party to lead that government. A Sinn Féin government will build houses, start the work of creating an all-island public health service for all and build a modern, vibrant economy that will allow people to lead good and prosperous lives. That's the future that our people deserve. It's a future worth fighting for, worth working for, because our people are br brimming with talent, with ambition and with huge potential. Our people show us every day that our best days are yet to come. And what they need now is a government that will back their aspirations, their hopes and their belief in Ireland. A government that will seize the opportunities that lie ahead. That government can and must be a government for change led by Sinn Féin. So our job as we meet here in Dublin today now is to move heaven, to move earth 
to make sure that it is in fact this government of change that our people get after the next election. Gurumila Mila Mahagov.